What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Troop coming to you live and direct from the Battle Troop headquarters. Let's get down. Let's, let's do this breakdown, man. There's a black girl who thinks that she's white. <laughs> now, when I say this is, there's a black girl who thinks she's white, her name is Treasure. <laughs> right. I got a lot of valuables to share with y'all throughout this whole entire blog I'm finna do on this black girl named Treasure who thinks she's a real full-blooded Caucasian. Now, <laughs> what's funny about this girl is she actually believed it. You would think if she believed that she is full-blooded white, you would figure that she would be light-skinned, High yellow, albino. This girl blacker than me. This girl blacker than me, and really believe that she, <laughs> she's a real Caucasian, a real Caucasian. I'm going to play some of the clips, <laughs> and I'm gonna break it down to you. She thinks she's a real Caucasian, even though she's blacker than me. Her teeth ain't even white, <laughs> but she believes she white. Let's get off into this, y'all. This is her mother speaking about the situation, situation, and, 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 and what went on. Let's listen. Your husband passed away. Yes. And when was this? In 06. Uh-huh. I'm very sorry for your loss, by Thank the way. You. I know Thank it's been you. a while, but it never gets easier. No. I know. And... Um, he was Caucasian, yes, correct? Yes, yes. And you allowed your children to believe that he was their biological father? Yes, I did. Why? Because he was the only father figure that I had for, for my children. When he passed, you decided to tell them the truth? Yes. I wanted them to understand that they were African American, in fact, as opposed to thinking they were mixed race children. Right. Okay, so she was married to a white man, right? She's married to a white man, and she told her um, and she told her children, who wasn't biologically the white man's children. He told she told her children that this white man was their real father, who she was married to. She married to a white man who. She told her children he was their real father, okay? Watch this part, though, y'all. And it wouldn't hurt anybody because my, my husband was no longer alive, so... And they were in shock, right? Yes, particularly Treasure. She took the information so hard. You think that's a triggering event? Yes, here. yes. She has full belief that she has a Caucasian father. Right. Okay. So, she married a white man. She already had two kids, two full black kids. Married a white man, had two full black kids before her marriage. She told the children, because they were young at the time, this white man was their real father. The white man ended up dying, so she felt she needed to tell them the truth since he's dead now. Because when the white man was alive, I guess financially wise, he provided for them. Moved them from a hood setting to maybe a good suburban life. But you're gonna hear them talk about that. When he died, she decided to tell them the truth because now she gotta go back to the hood because she can't afford the, the, the living that he had them living, living in, the conditions he had them living in when he was alive. So now the black truth come out. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna tell y'all like this. <laughs> the well ran dry and we got to go back. <laughs> you did this to your daughter, lady. You did this to your damn daughter. <laughs> you got these two dark-skinned kids you just as crazy as your damn daughter. You got these two dark skinned kids telling them that they that this white man, this full blooded white man, is they daddy, and both these kids is real Africans. 
And you bring the shame on your daughter and it's starting from you. That's what we get to saying. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. <laughs> black lady, <laughs> you thinking you better than other black women because you find yourself a white man with some money. Come to find out, you still got that nigga mentality because you didn't know how to save up and stack up the money while you was with him. So he giving you handouts. He giving you handouts while he alive only for him to die and leave you with nothing and you got to go back to the hood. <laughs> right? Girl, please. And so she associates that with a certain lifestyle oh, and no home and mm -hmm. family. She loses him and through financial necessities, you have to make changes as a single mother. Right. And you wind up in a different neighborhood a dip just, just go on and say the hood Dr. Phil go on and say the hood Dr. Phil the man died he, he died they got the change they living he said to go to a different neighborhood man just say back to the damn hood back to the pork and beans and franks back <laughs> back to the potty's meat back to the peanut butter and jelly the same people you laugh at going up you meet coming back down. Hey, so, back to the hood of things. Man, please. You done let that white man, you done let that white man enjoy you all them years, all the way to his death, and to leave you with nothing. Girl, get the hell out of here. And now you done mess your kids up in the head, had them believing that... That they real white men. Different socioeconomic set of challenges, as many single mothers do, yes. that she's blaming that change on, on this neighborhood, on the people that she's now associating with, and equates that with the change. Culture shock. Like I said, she did believe that she was mixed. And she wasn't putting black people down when she was really little, like I said, until she got to be about five, and then she wouldn't play with black children. She would be insulting and say they were dirty, and she would only play with white kids. Okay, now, now it's steady opening up more and more to it. So her mama said it was a cultural shock that she had, the, that when the white man died, they went from here to now back in, <laughs> a different neighborhood so we know what that means so it was culture shock to her children basically a reality check of who they really was because come to find out all while they was up under the white man care it was okay for them to disrespect black people and mama didn't have a problem with it at all mama didn't put her in line mama didn't check her mama didn't whoop that ass mama allowed her to disrespect her own race and the comfort of wanting to be accepted by a white man her damn self nine times out of ten he removed her from her situation to separate her from her people to have them up under her care well, you know, a lot of them be real, real, uh, uh, um, real, real, and they be real uh, jealous and obsessive when they get them black women who, who look fine and things like that. They be threatened of the presence of them being around other brothers because, you know, they know the saying. They didn't heard the saying their whole life. Once you go black, you never go back. He already knows she got two kids by a black man already. So he already knows that anything he doing to her, he ain't doing nothing that ain't already been done. He separate her, raising her children, and it's okay for them to say insulting things about black people under the roof of a white man. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, it is what it is. These, now all the facts coming out. What was he saying all the time while they were putting down black people saying the nigga word freely all in a house up under the white man's roof who didn't have no problem with it. Mama didn't have a problem with it neither. So we know what she was on. Okay. And let me be very clear here. Very, very, very clear here. 
You're absolutely appalled at what she's saying and doing. Devastated. So the mama is appalled at what her daughter doing, who black as hell, thinks she's a Caucasian and hate black people. Her daughter black as hell and hate black people because she believes she really white. And her mama is appalled and devastated by it, but didn't check it when, but didn't check it from the very beginning. But what they ain't saying that it came from mama first. It came from mama first. Children, children respond. Children respond off of what they see and what they're experiencing. It's coming from moms and it's coming from the white man. Let Jeff be honest. And she ain't doing nothing but picking up on what they clap hands on in the home. That's all this is. So you know, this is something, you're not here to defend her. You're not here to justify her. You're, you're here to get her some help and exactly. try to get some clarity oh, about yes. this. Oh, yes. I want to help her and get this straightened out. That's why we're here. And you believe that this is some kind of mental disorder, mental distortion that she's going through. I feel that she has body dysmorphia. I feel that she thinks that she is a white person. Mm-hmm. With her being black and hating black people, it's devastating. Yeah. Has she? Okay. Well, her being black and hating black people, it's devastating. Because she believes she's really white. But here you is a black woman married to a white man, but your black daughter hate black people, but you don't, even though you don't like what she's saying but you married to a white man. So you don't see what's going on and taking place here, moms. All this theming from you. All this I could imagine what you were saying about these two kids' father playing the victim as though you probably didn't do nothing wrong. A lot of women do that. I know a lot of guys don't be responsible sometimes stepping up to the plate, but I know for a fact certain women also are guilty of this same thing, trying to deprive guys from being involved in their children's life. You got two kids, they got a daddy, regardless if he and they like or not, you have to raise your daughter and your son to be a better man and your daughter to be a better woman than you and him. With that being said, you always raise them to respect they mother and father regardless of the mishap that happens in their life. The fifth commandment and the ten commandment coming from God. Honor your father and mother. Honor your father and mother. That goes without saying. That goes without cause. Honor them, period. Whether they good or bad. I'm pretty sure you didn't teach and install that inside her. Let's hear from the little girl. Let's see what her mentality like learning from her mama. I know a lot of people take issue with my beliefs. I'm white. I'm a Caucasian because everything about me is different from an African American. This girl is black as hell, but she says she's a Caucasian and everything about her is different than African Americans. I have to let y'all see just how black this damn girl is. She not light skinned. <laughs> she not light skinned. She not high yellow. She blacker than me. I just got to show y'all this. I'm sorry. Let me do this right quick. Y'all see how black this damn girl is? This girl black as hell. But she believes she's a full-blooded Caucasian. She believes she's a full-blooded Caucasian, 100% white. Even though her mammy black. <laughs> Let me tell you something, girl. Here's some education for you. If any one of your parents black, you black. I don't give a damn if your mama was white and your daddy was black. That makes you black. I don't give a damn if your mama was uh 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 if your mama was uh black and your daddy was white or your daddy was white and your mama was black. Whichever one, it don't matter. Your mama could be black and your daddy could be white, or your mama could be white, and your daddy could be uh, black. You black. If any bit of black is in you, that's what the hell you is. You black. You can never be white if a drop of black is in you. If 1% speck of black is in you, you ain't white. 
I don't give a damn who you is. White is white. You can't mix white with nothing or it's no longer white. So the moment you got black up in you, a, 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 a cup, a sip, a tinch, a inch, a gram, a sand, a, you black. You black as hell. Oh, girl, please. Let's get off into what she, how she finna describe herself, a real Caucasian different than blacks. Watch this. American. I have naturally straight hair. My she says she has naturally straight hair. Let me just show you how they're embarrassing this girl on purpose. She says she has naturally straight hair, even though her hair nappy as hell and her new growth is showing out of the roots. Just like a nigga. <laughs> Watch this. How you got naturally curly hair? Girl, your hair puffing out. <laughs> the new the new growth is hanging out. Wait, wait. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Stop making this so easy for me, please. Let's see some more of her descriptions of why she not black. Because you can't check that off the list. <laughs> If you got a checklist of why you not black, that's one thing you can't check off. That damn hair is nowhere near close to Caucasian hair. My hair isn't nappy. It doesn't require weed. My nose is not giant. She said her nose is not giant. And she said... Like African this. Americans, my lips are perfect. They're not too big and they're not... Her lips are perfect and her nose is not big. Well, let's look at her nose and lips. Let's just see... Can she check this stuff off her list? Her carcade, why she a Caucasian list? We already seen she can't check off the hair. Let's see if she can check off the lips and the nose because we know Caucasian got real little lips like they blowing up water balloons. We know that <laughs> Caucasians have real pointy Pinocchio nose and our noses is bigger. Let's see, can she check these two off her list since she thinks she full bloody white? Here's the picture of <laughs> They look like a big nose and big lips to me. I, I ain't nothing, I ain't nothing Caucasian about that lip and nose. You definitely can't check none of that off. <laughs> so let me get this right. You can't check off the skin complexion. You can't check off the nose. You can't check off the lips. <laughs> Sound like a nigga to me. <laughs> Sound like a nigga to me. Let's keep going. Not too small, they're just perfect. My ears, I don't have black people ears because they're really giant. Most I she said black people have giant ears. Oh, they didn't mess this poor little girl brains up. Black people ears, everybody know black people ears are little than white people ears. Everybody know white people ears are real big and long and the older they get, the more they hang like elephant ears. No disrespect to them, but that's just the truth. Everybody know white people ears are bigger than black people. So for her to say black people ears, <laughs> black people ears is big and she ain't got big ears like black people, everybody know that that's a lie. What? <laughs> What is They didn't mess this little girl up, man. Let's go a little deeper. African Americans speak ghetto. But when it comes to black people, I think they're all ugly and I have nothing in common with them. I'm different from African Americans because I'm white. My figures She different than African Americans cuz she's white. She she think they ugly and they have nothing in common alike, even though she dark skinned and black as hell. That ain't the killing part. Here's the killing part. Let's find out who is her role model. Different from African Americans because I'm white. My figure is just like Kim Kardashian and she's a wonderful role model. Her figure is like Kim Kardashian's and she's a wonderful role model. Man, this girl done fell down and bumped her damn head. First of all, you don't have a figure like Kim Kardashian. First of all, Kim Kardashian figure is fake. None of that is real. Her booty ain't real. Her titties ain't real. Then you say she's a wonderful role model. Okay, let me tell you about your role model, role model who you so my my look up. She like niggas. Kim Kardashian having sex with Kanye West, Reggie Jackson, Reggie, <laughs> Reggie, Re what's his name? The football player. <laughs> The football players, the football team, the basketball teams. She, 
don't you know Kim Kardashian don't like whites? She like niggas. So <laughs> you saying that's your role model, girl. You just told on yourself. You just want to go viral. You want to be popular. You trying to get your mama and them back up out the hood. This is a scandal. This is nothing but a scandal for them to go viral. She trying to get back up out the ghetto. Her mama put her up to this. They went on Dr. Phil because they know they're stupid as hell and retarded and make them all look bad. They don't care. They going to try to get some money some type of way because them free lunches, them free lunches and government checks ain't cutting it. <laughs> I know, lady girl. It hurts, don't it? Right, should have been loyal from the beginning. Should have had your own and you didn't have to worry about depending on a white man to take care of you. Mama, if you had your own, you wouldn't have to worry about selling yourself to a white man. Now since you lost and ain't got nothing, you back at square one and you got too old now. You didn't got too old now. <laughs> Girl, please. You know a lot of women like y'all. Trying to depend on men to get you through. You healthy and can get your own. And don't want your own because you're lazy. Now you got your kids trying to come up off your kid. Got your little daughter out here looking crazy. But don't know this make you look crazy. You don't care. You want to check. You want to come up and hoping everybody could put y'all on their show. And feel sorry for y'all. So that you can get a hand out and look out. Girl please. You horrible. This right here, the killing part. Let's see what her daughter lifetime dream is to do. She ever been to a KKK event? No, but I'm sure it's her dream. She won't. I'm going to play that one more time. Her daughter wants to go to a Q Cut Clan event. Let's play this again. Has she ever been to a KKK event? No, but I'm sure it's her dream. She'd like a um, Make America Great hat if you guys could get her one. I'm sure she'd be thrilled. Her daughter believes she's so much white. She wants to attend and go to a KKK event. She tried calling the KKK on numerous occasions to get invited to one of their <laughs> meetings. <laughs> I think that's what y'all should take her. I think that's what y'all should take her. Take her to the KKK meeting and let the KKK meeting know you're not coming back for her. They definitely gonna accept her. And <laughs> she definitely will be the life of the party. She gonna be the life of the party. They gonna accept her and they really gonna let her know that she definitely is one of them. <laughs> Man, please. Get up out of here, girl. Yeah, this is a scandal. They wanna check. They doing anything to get a check. They want a check, a straight up check. Let's hear what else the little daughter got to say. I act and I think like a white person instead of a black person. I believe that I'm completely and um, utterly better than them. Like we're on two different levels. Like, okay, African. She believes she better than African American. She on two different levels than them. And she think like a white person and she better than them. Even though they live back in the hood and ghetto now. Right, right. So then they take the little girl to Beverly Hills, right? They take her to Beverly Hills. <laughs> she can't go in none of the stores. She window shopping. But she thinks she white and she better than blacks. Sound like you just like her. <laughs> you can't go inside Beverly Hills. We can't go inside Beverly Hills. You window shopping. <laughs> we window shopping in Beverly Hills. <laughs> If you gonna pay $900 for a white tee, <laughs> go on get it, white girl. Right, she ain't. She sitting outside the window watching, <laughs> window shopping. Watch this. I'm in Beverly Hills right now. I'm seeing a lot of Caucasian people. And I have seen, like, probably like, I've seen only a gaggle of um, African Americans. And they were really gross. <laughs> Now, she's window shopping. She's fascinated by she's fascinated by all the things white people have. That Beverly Hills and them have. But she's window shopping. Window shopping. I may have a Chanel. I think I'm gonna die. I think Look, 
She can't afford nothing. She can't afford nothing. Chanel, Gucci, but she thinks she white. Girl, let me tell you something. Your mama already damaged your credit score. Your credit score horrible already. You ain't even grown yet. Your mama ain't got the light gas on in your name. Your mama ain't got the... You got the collection people looking for you already. Girl, you can't. <laughs> you heard about uh uh valuable things, but can't afford them. I'm gonna get look, here's a strong reality check for her. We can kill this whole thing on her if this is real. Take her to the public school. Take her to the public school. She gonna run into Keisha, Laquanda, Tammy, and Tasha and them and Pam. <laughs> And Jackie and them, and, hey, and guess what? They gonna knock that out of her real quick. You don't even gotta worry about it. <laughs> I guarantee you, she ain't gonna have no choice. But remember, she's a nigga in two weeks, in, in, in a week or two. <laughs> Trust me. Man, y'all done screwed this little girl up, man. But mama, you guilty of this. Mama, you did this stuff, man. This stuff... Look, this is, I think this is all just a viral scam. This is a check. This little girl want a check. Talking about her name, Treasure. And this girl ain't even got a bank account. Right. Your mama messed you up from birth. She called you Treasure, knowing you ain't, knowing she was in debt. Knowing that y'all ain't got no ends, no money whatsoever. She went out looking for a white man, found him, and thought he was going to set up some account for them. <laughs> she got played. Then y'all had to leave and go right back to the hood, now you're trying to go viral over the internet because things ain't working out for y'all. Man, get up out of here with that trash. Dark, black as hell talking about you a white person and hate black people. Look, man, we not finna do this. This your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. This ain't nothing but a scam. This ain't nothing but a big old scam to try to get some money because they hurting right now. Congratulations, mama, for Keeping the wheel of the cycle rolling. Keeping the wheel of the cycle rolling, man. This all come from you, man. We ain't finna do this. We ain't finna do this, y'all. Nope. Nope. Let me bang the gavel on these clowns. No. No, 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 no. This is over. It's over. It's over. Can we get back to real life now?